Wazanasa Radio Mango and Wazanasa Radio Mango so special interview. Today we have in our studios a noteworthy jazz musician of Goan origin. Colin De Cruz started playing professionally in 1975 when he finished school. He plays bass. Six nights a week for 10 years gave him the jazz education he needed. Dropped at the deep end, his natural talent took over and he developed a passion for music and jazz, which he says is a never-ending journey. Colin believes there is no final graduation in music. He continues to understand the fine nuances of jazz as he propagates the deep beauty of jazz to go in and goa welcome to radio mango colin de cruz thank you for having me on the show yes it's a pleasure to be sitting here in goa and recording you uh, instead of our studios in cold canada now my first question when did you start jazz goa and who are the musicians that collaborated with you i actually launched uh, jazz goa in the year 2004 so it's exactly 12 years 12 years now. yeah and i launched it along with uh, colleagues of mine you know musicians who were playing in my band and also generally uh, jazz lovers in goa right uh, you came in from bombay that's where you were brought up yes and you decided to come to goa and start jazz goa yes one reason why i decided to move to goa was i found goa you know turning into the next jazz hub mm mm-hmm. calcutta used to be the jazz hub in india right then the jazz scene moved to bombay right and from bombay it is definitely now in goa great great now as you say mumbai was a jazz mecca but goa for some reason uh, it was more theater music and you know songs cantars but never jazz despite having such a uh, i would say a wide uh, variety of of musicians now have you managed to change that status with jazz goa i wouldn't say i changed it because uh, Goan musicians have always been very westernized and you know musical mm. they were always cued into what's happening around the world right. of western music so jazz was one of the things that they took on to like you know fish, fish to, to water. water yeah and yet even though it was never explored because i suppose it was never there but they knew all the notes they were they were yes. consummate musicians one day yes and jazz is a form of music that is continuously evolving it's a very live form of music yes so yes so you never know where it's going to go next right and already there were musicians of goan origin who have spearheaded this evolution of jazz yes. one uh, musician i can think of is tilak gurtu oh he is of goan origin won the downbeat jazz paul 7 years in a row haha uh-huh. achieved world fame as a goan musician right so i see goa as very much a part of the whole jazz right evolution. so you saw an opportunity and you thought let's go and explore it yes great now you started with english tunes obviously jazz and then you have done a very interesting thing you have introduced jazz with konkani lyrics and konkani music tell us a little bit about that journey colin yeah actually uh, milena like you you've been uh, flying the konkani flag in canada <laughs> right and you've been flying this flag among the goan community in canada or the konkani speaking community in canada now i wanted to go one step further right and uh, take konkani music to the rest of the world besides the goans right now one way i could do that is putting it into a form of music that the whole world is interested in yes and that was jazz yes so how interesting yes so i took very popular konkani songs twisted it around changed it around and developed it into something that tune. the world would would accept yeah. and and so yeah. even if you are not a konkani speaking person if you like jazz you yes. want to enjoy this konkani song just for the music yes yes um we're going to take a short break and we're going to play for you uh, one of the tunes that uh, Colin and his troupe have played enjoy We are continuing our conversation with Colin De Cruz, the man who helped bring jazz to Goa and Goans. As I said earlier, this is being recorded in his studio in Sangolda, Goa. Now Colin, how do you expose your music or like me, is it passion over profit in the jazz world? Definitely at this stage, you know, after 40 years of playing, 
I would like to give back to music. Music has given me everything and more in life. And this is my small way of giving back to right. music. Right. I record artists, local artists for free. I put them up on the net. I expose them to the world. Right. I offer the music free to the world. Wow. So, you know, as we speak there are people downloading, downloading music in different music. parts of the world. Yes. And you do it for the passion of it. Yes. You uh, just told me a little while ago that you will be collaborating or are in the process of collaborating with world jazz musicians. Can you tell our listeners a little bit about this? Yes, you know, I have been always performing with musicians from around the world because a lot of them land up in Goa. Oh. Yeah, and people who come to Goa really in love. In search of music or in search of Sveni and Sun? Actually, they come here for the beaches, the mm. environment and mm. they just love Goa. Mm-hmm. Goa is a place that inspires any artist. Yeah. It's an inspiring environment, one of the reasons why I moved to Goa. Right. Now, besides the artists who come down and perform here in Goa, I also collaborate with artists who I haven't even met by the internet. Wow. So there are musicians who have played on our Konkani songs here, accomplished artists. You find them on the net. Yeah. You call them or connect with them. Yes. And they send their piece to you. Right. And then you uh, edit the whole thing and and yes. create the tune. So I created a song using musicians from different parts of the world. What's it With called? One tune I can name is Mol Bai Lodu. Okay. Now okay. this is a Konkani song that has got a Russian saxophonist playing. Amazing. Yes. Yes. So you'll hear it on your show. We are going to play that next, yeah. And uh, likewise, there are Canadian musicians I've recorded with. A right. Goan Canadian, his name is Manuel Gomes. Brilliant saxophone player. Right. You'll hear him on some of the tunes. Yes. Now, um, you know, um, have our Goans moved to jazz? I mean, Goans love music, but it is more like pepe-pepe kind of music, dance music, you know, wedding music. Uh, they can harmonize at the drop of a hat. But jazz is a different beast, isn't it? Um, do you think our Goans have begun to understand jazz? Jazz actually has a niche audience all over the world. You right. Know? It's an acquired taste. Mm. People who get into jazz just don't leave it. It's like You're it takes right. time to get into yes. it. Once you love it, you're yes. with it for the rest yes. of your life. Yes. Now, Goans primarily love to dance. Yes. So if then the jazz song, does not give them <laughs> yeah. that. <laughs> so very listening. often, jazz music is only for their listening pleasure. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it will always be secondary to the dance music that they enjoy. Right. Now, who is your favorite jazz musician? Some. Uh, one of my all-time favorites was a bass player called Jaco Pastures. Yeah, okay. He's probably inspired more bass players than any other artist in the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, like most great artists, had a short life. He died at the age of 35, but left a huge impression on the world of jazz. Right. So he still continues to inspire me. But is your jazz pure or is it, you know, fusion like Stepan Grappelli playing with El Shankar, Subramaniam? Do you prefer fusion jazz or are you a purist? Actually, jazz is the most open form yes, of music, you know, right. so I wouldn't want to call it a pure form of yes, music. Yes, It embraces any form of music. Yes. So you have jazz rock, you have jazz uh, classical, you have jazz country, you right. have... Right. Jazz, reggae. Yes, yes, So yes, there's yes. a jazz attached to just about every Everything, genre of music. Yeah. And it lets the musician take it away and run and come Very back true, to it. Yes. And that's why it's my favorite form of music. Yes. So I'm really happy that I have the opportunity to, to interview you today. Now, uh, please tell our listeners where you sell your music, where can people hear you and your musicians, and your website details, please. I don't sell my music anymore. I did have uh, record label uh, deals where record companies sold my music. And now I prefer giving out my music for free. Right. So where can they download it? The best place would be jazzgoa.com. Jazzgoa.com. There are over 100 originals, not just my music, but artists whom I have recorded. Right. And they are available for free downloads. Fantastic. Now, I always ask my uh, the people we interview that uh, give you the final 15 seconds to say anything you want. You can say anything. You want to thank your first girlfriend, your f- the first musician that inspired you, your wife. Here's your chance. 
Yeah, I'd like to thank my wife Diana, who's a huge support in everything I do, and I don't think I would be able to do as much without her support. Wow. Uh, besides that, I would like to say hi to my two sisters in uh, Toronto <laughs> and their families. What are their names? Patricia and uh, Deborah. Hope you're listening, Patricia and Deborah. This is a shout out to them, and. Uh, a small piece of advice to young musicians you know all over the world in canada too it's great technology has uh, given us so much today it's become so easy to create music make use of technology but remember it's a musical instrument that creates music and not that play button on your machine well said well said thank you very very much for giving me this time i really enjoy talking to you and guess what i'd like to see you and your jazz musician troupe here in canada we we'll look forward to that <laughs> thank you very much and thank you diana as well for complimenting and collaborating thank you very very much <laughs>